Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can import an Excel list into SharePoint and import it into a custom list in SharePoint. Now, in the past, we had a few different ways to import Excel to SharePoint, and uh, none of them really were exciting. Um, some of them were almost like a workaround and essentially were not user friendly at all. Uh, luckily now with the modern uh, lists, with the modern SharePoint lists, we have that capability. We pretty much have a very easy, intuitive and straightforward way to import Excel uh, with all the data uh, and uh, import it to a custom list in SharePoint. Let me show you how. So I have this Excel document over here, a few rows and columns. It's uh, a project list, a project dashboard. Uh, with some information, all right? And I would like to create a list uh, and import all this data um, to, to a custom list on my SharePoint site. Here's how we do it. Gear icon, site contents. So we need to create a list, right? And then new list. Here we go. Uh, now, there are a few uh, ways to create a list, a custom list, that is. Uh, we can obviously start from scratch and create our own metadata columns. We can uh, copy an existing one. In our case, we're going to be importing from Excel. Uh, so uh, there are a couple of options, right? If you have a, a, a list uh, already, um, an Excel list somewhere on your site, you can actually pick it up. It has to reside uh, in your default document library. If you have it somewhere else, yeah, you know, you can't, can't, you know, you can't use it. It has to be a default library, default document library. But you can also upload it. All right. Now it's not just any. Um, any Excel document you can upload, all right? Uh, let's see what happens if I try to upload this Excel document. Look at this, here is my data. Let me go ahead and upload this um, you know, file right now. Here we go, perfect, cool. Uh, now, by the way, it's been uploaded to the site assets library, all right? In case you're wondering where it's going to end up, it's going to a site assets library. Um, uh, library on your SharePoint site, of course. And look at this, it actually did not import. Why? Because it has to be a special format. Essentially, my Excel data needs to be formatted as a table and it actually provides instructions, um, you know, instructions over here. So what we need to do, we pretty much need to take care of that. Uh, let me show you how you just highlight your data and in Excel, and then we need to format it. All right, we need to format it. Uh, you know, pick one of those kind of styles. Here we go. Perfect. That's all that needs to happen. That's all that needs to happen. So I'm going to save it. Here we go. Uh, and let's uh, try it again. All right. I'm going to upload this again. Here we go. And now it will come through. All right. So what then happens is that it's getting all the data. Here it is. Look at this. My same Excel document, the same Excel uh, you know, data, you pretty much see all the row, uh, rows and all the columns over here. And what we need to do for each and every um, every column, we need to match it to a column in a custom list, to the different types of columns that we have in a custom list. And this is what we can choose from. So in our case, right, uh, this project name column is a title column. A title column will essentially be the column uh, you, you know, clickable column, right, where you can click on something and, you know, and then it will uh, open up, uh, you know, a pop up for that particular row, which you can obviously view and edit the information in. All right. So in this case, um, yeah, let's make it a title. Here we go. That's going to be a title. Um, and by the way, you could also choose, you know, do not import, right? I mean, if for whatever reason, maybe I want to omit a certain column, but in our case, let's leave it, leave it alone. Uh, for project manager, uh, again, uh, this is going to be, uh, in our case, uh, probably a single line of text. Uh, status, all right, for status, I have active and active, you know, closed, you know, stuff like that. So for that, I want it to be a choice field, all right? And then what else? Uh, yeah, let me just finish this up. Uh, you just pretty much specify what is the right format, what is the right format. Uh, so in this case, budget column, you see it picked it up as a number. It's going to be a currency. Here we go. And then for date field, right, we can match it to the date and time. All right, so it's all matched up. Perfect. Uh, and by the way, right, one thing that we kind of, uh, that is kind of important, we need to provide the name over here for our list. So that's uh, going to be project dashboard. I'm going to create, here we go. Perfect. 
and then let's hit create and let's see what happens all right so here we go look at this my list has been created uh, essentially all the data all the rows and all the columns um, came through and it's formatted correctly you see it's formatted correctly now a couple of things i want to point out uh, and obviously now right you can go in and fill it out and all that pretty straightforward it behaves like any other list um, but a couple of things i want to point out as well um, so first of all this is just a one-time deal all right if you have some data uh, you import you only import it once so let's say i imported three rows of data if i now you know add i don't know another ten thousand rows over here uh, i will not be able to re well i will pr pretty much need to create a brand new list right i cannot just add the delta you know the additional rows to the list all right at this point i might need to use the quick edit so i can pretty much maybe copy and paste um if it's a reasonable number of rows but uh you will not be pretty much uh, able to to re-import to the same list all right uh so that's thing number one another thing i wanted to mention is this remember how for some of my columns i made it a choice column um it actually does not really make it a choice uh let me explain let me explain so here if i fill in the new item if i fill in the new item right I, it seems like i have these two choices but let me explain what's actually happening if i added the column over here one of my choice columns perfect look at this you see it doesn't have any choices yes it's the right type of column it doesn't have any choices but what happened is it allowed it allows for manual entries it allows for you know uh, for, for the user to add the values manually so that's how we ended up with those two so they're not really part of the drop down so what you need to do what you need to do because i always like to do it because it kind of defeats right i actually don't like this i don't like when users can add values manually at least not in this case right uh, because that's the whole idea of a choice drop down right they need to choose what was given to them so in this case what i would like to do is this you, you kind of need to uncheck the box and then add your choices manually. All right, essentially, whatever they are, whatever they are. So in my case, it would be this and, and, and the, the second one I have. All right, and now this truly will become a drop down field. All right, let's save it. So now if somebody comes in and fills it out, it truly, you know, it truly becomes a drop down field. And you see, I cannot even uh, you know, add my own choices versus for the other one, you see, for the other one, uh, I can just add, you know, something on the fly and, 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 and label it because this one, I did not fix my yet, right? This allows for manual, uh, for manual, manual values to be added. So just something really, um, important. I wanted to show you, um, if you're going to import Excel data through, um, yeah, you know, uh, by importing it to a custom list. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, as you saw in this video, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, other than that, it just behaves like any other list. Uh, you can obviously now navigate and you know access all the list settings, enable version history, uh, enable disable attachments, whatever you want to do. All right. So hopefully, you learned something new in this particular video. As always, happy to see you on my blog SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.